All right, guys, welcome back for another awesome edition of our high intensity interval training here on the Healthy Transformation. So, before we've done squats, we've done push ups, and we've done rows. So, now we're going to focus a little bit more on the lower body exclusively. For those of you that have ever tried the kettlebell swing, it may be an elusive character in your fitness regimen, but we're going to simplify it for you, make it nice and easy, and work it into your programs because it's an incredibly effective exercise for anybody at any fitness level. So keeping in mind of what is the kettlebell swing? Well, we've got the squat, right? Which is a knee dominant exercise, meaning the knees are going forward, we're loading into the quads, loading into the hamstrings, loading the glutes. Awesome, it's great. We've already covered this. The swing itself is more exclusively a hip hinge, very akin to the deadlift, okay? Some people have a tendency to hurt their lower backs or overextend their shoulders on this one, and we're gonna show you how to prevent that so you have a good, safe, effective workout, and you start to really enjoy the kettlebell work. First thing you're gonna do is put your hands on your thighs, keeping your arms fully and completely straight, looking forwards. I want you to keep your knees exactly where they are, but push your hips back until your hands cover your kneecaps, okay? Down and back up. And again, we don't wanna pull the elbows up at all. You wanna keep your arms fully straight, Push the hips back, do the hands, cover the kneecaps. Now when you do this, you should feel that the hamstrings get a little tight, you get a little bit of tension in the back of the legs. We don't want to see the knees drift forward over the toes because then we're going to engage the quadriceps, which would be our squat. And that's where a lot of people make the difference between the hip hinge and the squat. So again, you're going to push your hips back, cover your knees, keeping your shins perpendicular to the ground, nice and straight up, and back here. So push back and up, push back, and up. One cue to know that you're doing it right is that your toes, when you push your hips back, they want to start coming up, okay? That means you're pushing the weight back into your heels and you're loading what we call the posterior chain, all the muscles on the back side, which is essentially what we're going for with the kettlebell swing. So, you're going to grab your kettlebell. Next up, we're going to pick it up. Nice and tall. Straight up and down like 6 o'clock from the side, just looks like this. Now we're just going to get the, the swing moving, get the, sorry, kettlebell moving, just by pushing the hips back. Okay, we don't want to see the knees drift forward. Okay, you want to see the knees, knees stay pretty stationary. Hips go back, just like so. Good, and again, as the bell goes back, between your feet, you're going to feel the weight go into your heels. Your toes are going to probably want to curl up a little bit, which is a good sign that you're getting the weight into the proper position, and you're not going to hurt your back, which is very important. Okay, so pushing the hips back. And we're gonna concentrate the breath as the swing comes up like so. Hips back. And break there. So what we're looking for is the belt to come up nice and high. It's gonna be level with the chest. Arms are gonna come back down. Elbows are gonna to touch the ribs. And they would go back down into that position that we just practiced, right here. That's gonna ensure that we don't overload the lower back and create strain in the back and injure ourselves for any future workouts, okay? So we're using the kettlebell swing, and then we're gonna also use the side lunge. Two versions of the side lunge that we'll accept for this workout, start with your feet together, stay bang out to the side, again, pushing your hips back, hands out, keeping your opposing leg nice and straight, squeeze your quads on the side to create a nice strong lever, step up, bring your feet together, and step out of the other side. Step, hips back, leg nice and straight. Come back up. Straight, and back up. One more time. Now, for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, you might do what we call the archer lunge. Which is we're gonna keep the feet, but shoulder just a little bit wider than shoulder width, because damn knows that's not as wide as my shoulders. I ain't no linebacker or anything like that. So we're gonna push back, turn the toe up, sit down on the heel, come back up. Turn the toe up, we're externally rotating the hip, and we're sitting down on the heel, back up, okay? Now I'm gonna do both those versions as we go through, so for those of you that are a little bit, more, a little bit more beginner, you can stick with the step to the side. For those of you a little bit more advanced and have the mobility and the awareness in the hip, we'll do the archer lunge, okay? Now comes the fun part, and I mean fun, capital F-U-N. Grab your timer, guys. We're gonna set it for 25 seconds of work and 12 seconds rest. So again, we're sticking to that two to almost one ratio of twice as much work as rest. That's gonna help increase the intensity 
while still giving you just enough time to rest between exercises. Okay, eight total rounds, so we're gonna do four rounds of swings and four rounds of the side lunges. All right, guys, align your chakras, get yourself ready, and here we go. <clears throat> In four, three, starting with the swings, two, one, and here we go, swings. Quick breath, five seconds again. Center yourself, we're gonna do the step to the side lunge first. Ready, step to the side, hips back. Step to the side. Step to the side. Again, keeping that trailing leg nice and straight. Flex up the quads, no bent knees, no bent knees like so, nice and straight. Pull it in. Getting the inner thighs working a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do a swing from the side so you can see the tall posture at the top of the swing. Ready guys, here we go. Two, one, back of the swings. And we don't wanna be leaning back at the top. We don't wanna choke the swing. Nice and strong. Pushing it with the hips, not pulling it with the shoulders. Woo. Woo. Gets heavy pretty quick. Okay, we're gonna do the alternate side lunge called the archer lunge. So again, keeping your feet to the sides. So we'll go down, toe up. Keep this leg nice and straight, squeeze it. Pull and push at the same time. So it's cooperative effort in your inner thighs. Down nice and low, up. We're actively turning the hip out, squeezing the quad, pulling it in. Fantastic, we're back on the swings. Let's go this way so you can see this angle. So I think this is my best angle right here. Ready, two, one, and go with the swings. And be patient and allow the bell to come back down first before you push your hips back. Because we want to avoid doing this. When the bell goes too low, that's gonna hurt the lower back over time. So again, make sure arms, hips back, hips back. Don't let the bell go too low. Excellent, another break. We're gonna go back to that step side. Whew. Still gets it going, even after all these years. <laughs> Ready, step to the side first. Step, back, work on your stability. Don't be worried about going too fast. Make sure that your form is good and solid and stable. Make sure you always keep your heel down. Don't come up on the toe. That's gonna to put a lot of pressure behind the knee. Step, hips back, engage and drive. Back, engage and drive. All right, good news. We're at the last round of kettlebell swings. So stay focused all the way to the end. Two, one, let's go. Drive. If you think about squeezing your butt really tight at the top of the swing, boom. Like if I put a piece of coal in your butt cheeks, you squeeze so hard, turns into a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, bright like a diamond. All right, enough of my crap. Okay, now we're gonna do the, again the archer lunge, and this is gonna be the finish. This is eight of eight, thankfully. Here we go. I'm going down. Leg nice and straight, back straight, up, squeeze. Leg straight, back straight, up, squeeze. If you need to, you can use a weight right here, a counterbalance, a dumbbell, a small weight plate, just to allow you to keep your back nice and straight because we don't want to see this going forwards, staying low like a troll. Up, nice and tall, nice and tall with the back. All right, guys, there we go. So that's eight of eight. 
25 seconds work, 12 seconds rest in between. If you like this, definitely slam that like button right now. Comment, tell us how you felt about doing this workout and definitely subscribe. We've got lots more content coming out, more workouts, more instructional videos. Till the next time guys, stay tuned, have fun, whew, and keep working. <laughs> Till then guys.